sheriff of the town stands across from an outlaw that's been terrorizing the locals. The outlaw says to the sheriff, No man born from a woman can beat me in a fair duel. The sheriff reaches toward his gun, but the outlaw has been ready. Ready since the day he was born. Suddenly, they draw their weapons and then... Asher! Stop writing in that silly notebook of yours and get back to work. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Esposito. Listen, I don't pay you to write little fairy tales. I pay you to write orders, okay? Do you understand? Yes, sir. I, I'll get back to work. Great. Hi, welcome to Esposito's. May I take your order? Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Uh, could I just get a coffee with extra cream and sugar? Yeah, no worries. I, I get it. You know, just, I'm a writer too, so sometimes you just get lost in your own world, right? Yeah. Oh, so you're doing the Hopkins Writing Challenge, right? The what? Halbert Hopkins is doing a short story writing contest for all students. Wait, Halbert Hopkins? Like the guy who wrote the Tales of the Sky Kingdom series? That Halbert Hopkins? Yeah, he's giving out a full scholarship to the winner. That's incredible, that's... That's how I'm gonna get out of this dump. Okay, 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 okay. Think, 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 think. A princess walks out from her balcony, calling out for her beloved prince. The prince exclaims from below, My beloved, you were as beautiful as you were ten fortnights ago. He takes out his magical guitar. No, no that's too cliche. Standing in the pale moonlight is a private investigator examining the filth of the city. Suddenly, a brash, scrawny man barges through the door. He exclaims to the detective, you just kept running your mouth. Well, now you ain't got nowhere to run. He pulls out a knife and raises it in the air and... <sighs> and stabs him through his beating heart. Wait, is this too violent? <sighs> Hold on, I got it. It's the twelfth and final round. A bruised but not yet beaten fighter gets up from his stool. He pounds his chest and yells, No man born from a woman can beat me in a fair fist fight! He stares deep into his opponent's soul, knowing he's ready to die in this ring. He marches forward with reckless abandon. He gets knocked down. But not knocked out. He marches forward once more. He dodges the first punch and throws everything into a Hail Mary. The opponent goes down. He tries to get to his feet, but collapses back to the ground. The crowd erupts as the boxer raises his hands in victory. The end.